Hello, hello again, my everything. It's not everything, Pisces. I'm sorry, y'all. It's Tia Tiro. <laughs> sorry, Tia Tiro. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tia Tiro with Tanya. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't, guys, okay? Energy is fluid, so feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself where you fit up in it. And last but not least, any pronoun that I use, he, she, her, him, speaking of masculine or feminine energy, unless otherwise stated. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so we're going to um jump in and see how your person's feeling about you. What is your energy towards you right now? What do you need to know? Okay, so focus on your person, whether you're a couple, single, have a crush on somebody, trying to manifest a person in. Huh? Let's see what the overall energy is, okay? Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What is the overall energy for the collective? Or do they need to jump and how their person is feeling about them at this time? So we had three jump out. The first card we have for you guys is hibernation and rejuvenation. I mean, excuse me, hibernation and regeneration. So right now you guys may be taking or keeping some time apart. You may need to get some rest so that you can rejuvenate. You may need to regenerate, recharge here. You may be giving your person a little time. We have earth magic here as well. Spirit wants you guys to get out and ground it's a lot of green here. You may need to heal your heart. It's a lot of green in this one as well. And then the last card that came out here is meditation for creativity. You may need to meditate more. Your person may be meditating on... Huh, I just heard creative ways to get into you or creative things to do for you guys to do. You're trying to find a new creative way to come at you, okay? Um, they want to they wanna do something out of the box here. They could be possibly planning some type of trip or some type of endeavor. Um, could be some type of camping trip or something. They want to do something out the box or something that you guys have norm normally don't do. Yeah, for some of you guys, they want to they take you on a camping trip. They want to go sleep, sleep outside up under the stars. I'm here for some of you guys. They want to go hiking or, or go um, searching inside of some type of caves or something. They want to do things that, that you guys normally don't do or haven't done. For some of you guys, they want to take you to paint, paint and sip. Also, I, I'm hearing they may want to go and adopt a dog or a cat, a new pet here. Some of them want to go with you to the crystal shop. They want to know more about the crystals. They want to know more or get information. And I feel like they feel like you can help them. Okay. That's for some here. Okay, guys. This is not everybody's message. Take what's yours. Leave what's not. Some of you guys do need to get outside, though. You need to ground. You need to um, reconnect so you can realign here. If you've got somewhere where you can get into the grass, to the trees, barefoot, nature. Some of you guys need more rest right now, more sleep. And you need to do more creative things, okay? That's just a separate side note. Some of you guys need to go get you some crystals. Some of you guys need to recharge and cleanse your crystals up under the next full moon. Some of you guys need to go outside and pull the weeds and stuff about your garden. You need to get outside. And for some of you guys, you need to get outside under the star, stargaze. It'll help with your intuition under the moon. Okay, Spirit, tell us more about... The collective person and how they're feeling towards the collective right now. Okay. So with the perfect setting being the first card coming out, this person 
pictures you as I mean, even though no one is perfect, they picture you as perfect, okay? Or as close to as perfect can be. This person really does want to build something here with you. They want something grounded, something long-term and stable here with you. Spirit says you need to shift your energy. You could be thinking negatively right now. Your person could be thinking negatively right now. Or you guys could be possibly just focusing too much on each other and not enough on self-care. You could be worrying too much right now about what's coming next. Instead of just living and enjoying the moment right now. You need to get out and ground. I keep getting ground. You need to get outside so much green. You need to get outside and ground yourself. You're overthinking. You're worrying. Get out of your head. That's why you need to shift your energy here. And the best way to do it is get outside. Get out into nature to a perfect setting. Get out into your perfect setting. You may also need to paint again. Like I said, this person is painting. They're painting their perfect picture. Spirit, they're painting here. You need to get into your creative creative feel here, your creative energy. It says you are worth it. Your person feels like you're worth it here. They want to put in the effort. You need to know that you're worth this love coming in. You have to let go of the negative energy here. You're going to push your person away with the negative thoughts, with the second guess in here. That's why Spirit's saying you need to reground. Okay. This was supposed to be how your person felt about you. But Spirit is saying this is what you need to do towards your person right now. You need to understand that you are worth this collective, okay? You are worth this love that's coming in. You need to shift your energy from anything negative to positive. You need to get outside and read ground. If you need to take some time to yourself to rest and to rejuvenate, I mean, and regenerate, then that's what you need to do right now. You need to do something creative. But your person wants something long-term. They, they feel like you're worth it. They feel like you're perfect here. They want to build with you. And they're trying to find creative ways to make this relationship exciting and to keep it going. Okay, tell me more about this woman. I, I read the card. How the collective person is feeling about them. Let me go through again. Okay. Last time. Okay. So this is how your person is feeling about you. So let's see. Let me get these up here. The first one out here is worth waiting for. Okay. You're worth it. And this, work, this, this relationship is worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so know that divine timing is at work, that this is a divine connection, that that God, the universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors, the angels, the archangels are moving and making things happen in the background for you, okay? The next card says, very soon here, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay? This person wants you, they want to be with you, and they've decided, now they're waiting to see what you want, if, if, if this is what you want as well, okay? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This person is completely attracted to you. Head over heels in love with you. And you're attracted, with this, attracted to this person as well. I heard your self-worth. Your self-worth makes you very attractive. The next one is romantic feelings. Okay. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your person's feelings towards you are real and worth exploring, and your feelings are real and worth exploring. Take the chance. This, this is worth it. It says, it is safe for you to love, guys. Okay, collective. I told you, shift your energy. Release this negative thoughts. You deserve this love. You deserve this person. This person deserves you, and they deserve love. It is safe for you guys to love. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Love. The next one says, it's time to release your ex. Anything that still may be holding you back from the past, any hurts, anything that may be still lingering on, it's time to release that. The time has come to clear your energy. That's where this negativity keeps coming from. That's where these negative thoughts are coming from, from past relationships. Because this new person, this person here, hasn't did anything to you to put you there. Okay, so you need to decide very soon because guess what? 
the final card that came out for you guys is wedding. This situation involves marriage. This can end up being the one. This could be, end up being the person that you marry. Okay? This is really beautiful, guys. So I'm going to leave it here. Oh, I just heard, even if, if a traditional wedding is not what you wanted, this is something that's still going to be long-term committed here. Okay? Stable. So, I am available for personals if you would like to know more about your situation. My information is down below in the description box, guys. You can click directly on it. It'll take you directly to my list of services, and you can book me directly there in my appointment book. Also, please don't forget to hit the subscription button. Click the little bell. And don't forget to click the little thumbs up so that the um, YouTube algorithm, guys, will keep my videos rotating. It will be greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, Everything Pisces to Row. You don't necessarily have to be a Pisces. You may have Pisces anywhere in your placement. If you go over there and there is a title that catches you, watch the video. There's a message there for you. Okay, guys. So, until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my babies.